Uh, okay then, this is the <laughs> game. <laughs> okay, back to the game. Um, what should be our next move? So if the shop, if the market stall person didn't steal from themselves, the kids didn't steal from her, should we, what should we, but the footprints, maybe we should follow the footprints. Okay, let's go follow the footprints. Oh, I feel like that's what Dave was trying to get us to do. Go to the stall and follow the footprints. Well, that's a yeah. lot of things I was trying to get you to do, which you didn't do. Oh, well, we'll get to it eventually. You... <laughs> I mean, we're getting to the footprints. You're right. Okay, so which way is towards the store? Uh, directly up from where you are. Okay. Are we on, like, we're on the same path as the footprints, right? I assume, because I'm did. i not going to roll to see if we're following. Yeah. I forgot to s say bye to Dave and Jeff. Dave? Jeff? <laughs> you just sprint across <laughs> town? <laughs> yeah. What, you're not going to say goodbye to them? Yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff? Dave? <laughs> <laughs> we need you, but it's worth it. Um, so you're actually up against the side of the bank now. The shop is the one above it. Oh. Uh, I just sound like I'm panting, not running. You see, like. So right here. Yes. Is there okay. a window? What can I do in the. Oh, we'll go ahead. Is there a way? Hang on. I have to. How do I do the reveal area thing? There we are. Regardless of what's on the other side, Bonehead is jumping through the window. Boop. There we go. Correct. I have revealed it for you. Um, yeah, there's a window right there. You can just hop through. Perfect. And it's wide open as well, so you don't need to worry about glass going everywhere. Bonehead's going to be real confused for a moment because there's no glass, and then turn back. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so you enter the shop to see that the person who was... Um... Hang on, let me get rid of that dog. Um... The person who has just been released from the jail uh, is now in the shop, which they were apparently trying to rob not too long ago. Who let them in there? Um, it's not so much that they've been let in. Um, it's that they just walked in, like they know how to get in. Um, so the shopkeeper turns to look at them and says, what are you doing back here? Uh, and the, um, I don't know what to call this person. The person. attempted thief um, looks at them very, very angry um, and says, uh, I want you to change me back. The shopkeeper uh, attacks the attempted thief. I'm gonna um, get in between. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what? What are you doing? He keeps trying to steal from me. Why are you stopping me? One moment. <clears throat> what do you mean by change your back? Uh, can't, can't you tell? This isn't what I normally look like. What do you normally look like? What, like, like him! Okay. What do you normally look like? Wait, can you dispel magic? No. Oh. Uh, the shopkeeper, like, shakes his head and goes, No, this is just some stupid drunk man. He does this all the time. Uh, can, can I just get rid of him? Well, I'm not going to let you kill somebody if you don't want to. Do you want to be killed? No, of course I don't want to be killed. Yeah, I can't let you do that, bud. Hey, Depezzi, could you just spell magic? No. Oh. Yes, yeah. 
Wait, I'm the mayor. Just get like a wizard. Commandeer a wizard. Where do we commandeer a wizard from? Wizard hut. Okay, you have the number? Uh, oh god, if I could only remember the ad. Because I don't think the location bias um, delivers. I think we actually have to go and pick up our wizard. Oh. Uh, but that's going to be like a 30 minute wait. Yeah, I know. Fine, just kill him. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, Fifi rolls for investigation. Oh yeah, um, we that. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to find a criminal and not once have we rolled for investigation. That's, yeah, honestly, that's true. Um, yeah, roll for investigation. Twelve. <laughs> that's not super great. No, I failed. Um, Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, um, Nepezi, the, uh, the shopkeeper appears to be lying. I, I get real, real up close in his face. Hey. Hey, friend. Friend. Because we're friends, right? Since, yeah. Uh, since, since we're friends, you wouldn't, you wouldn't lie to me, right? Like, you wouldn't lie to your friend. If you would, I'd cut you and your nuts off and shove them down your throat. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna burn the empty place where your freshly cut nuts were. Oh, I thought we were doing good cop, bad cop. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right, right. I mean, and then I would, I would gladly help you get those nuts out of your throat and get you medical attention to place them back because we're good friends and I don't want to see you hurt. But you know, since we're since we're friends, you're gonna be honest with me, right? Like, you are you really the shopkeeper? Of course, I'm the shopkeeper. But are you the real shopkeeper, like the original shopkeeper? Yes, of course I am. I'm gonna touch his shoulder and cast inflict wounds at the second level. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I have to roll to hit, I believe. Yeah, that's right. I'm just getting up his page. He has a page? Ha! He is the villain. Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> why would a random shopkeep have his own page? But why wouldn't he? He's the shopkeeper. Seven or is plus... he? He is the shopkeeper. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I mean, come on, Dave. We're friends, right? You wouldn't lie to your friend. <laughs> Fifi stabs him in the back of the foot, right? Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Okay. Um. Should we? Should we I roll got for initiative? Total. Is he going to attack? Is he attacking, Dave? Um. Do I, a... Do I get a surprise round? Yeah, I'd say this is a surprise round. You haven't even rolled initiative yet. Okay. Well, I got 14 total to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay, and I said second level. Yep. Uh, 22 points of damage. Oh my god, that's literally his entire hit points. Oh my god! <laughs> so we just <laughs> killed like someone real for no reason. <laughs> he just oh man, He's we gone. Weren't, we weren't done! Oh my god. He's and just, he take... like, so, uh, he's like, you don't really know what happened there, but you touched him in, like to inflict wounds, and then just like where you touched, just exploded. Like it looked like it was going to be like a huge, massive, awful bruise, and then it just like kept going. And then I'm and... gonna sit. Oops, sorry, go ahead. Nope, that's it. <laughs> Are we out of initiative? Um. Well, yeah, you killed the dude. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna cast um, Undead Servitude. Okay. And bring him back. Okay. <laughs> What's and left? And say, you have to be honest with us now. Okay. Uh, I would but... choose a different spell if this spell is fucking you over so badly. Because this is kind of a bullshit. I didn't expect to kill him, but I'm going to take the advantage. No, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay. 
you have to be honest with us. Uh, he says, oh, yes, okay. He had kids. Well, he can still have, well, no, he can't have kids, but he can, he's, he's still here. He can acquire kids. Exactly. He had, he had kids. We have orphans he can adopt. He's <laughs> okay. still here. Okay, freshly, uh, freshly dead now, undead dude. You have to tell us the truth. Are you really the shopkeeper? Legit, no. I'm sorry. <gasps> dude, we were friends. You lied to me. Uh, I've never been your friend. <gasps> <gasps> now that's just gonna hurt my feelings. Who oh my are you? What did you do to this man over here? Oh, uh, he's the real shopkeeper. Why I... did you steal his identity? Because there is a powerful magical item uh, coming to this store tomorrow morning, uh, and I wanted to take it. No one was supposed to get hurt. Are you the one who stole the gold? Yes. <gasps> Dude! What's the powerful magical item? What was that? What's the powerful magical item? Uh, hang on. <laughs> I don't fucking have it up on my, on my thing at the moment. Oh, you're just teasing us, Dave. Legit, <laughs> I'm so sorry I completely fucked over at your- I just beefed the whole game. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we were supposed to figure this out like two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a, li a little bit. You've done it in very much the wrong order. <laughs> <laughs> we got there, though. <laughs> you got there eventually, so that's pretty good. Um, hang on. I did, I did have a page up, and now I can't find it. Okay, so I'm going to keep it straight with you, Guy. So you n can no longer steal the magical item, unfortunately. Um, you are going to stay in the servitude of Mayor Bonehead here. We can't trust you with free will. Um, and we're going to make you turn back this, the shopkeep to like look like a shopkeep. Like You have to do that. Like The kids have to recognize their father. Well, that yes, but I I'm, don't oh, think I Oh, it was his for his kids. His the- Oh my god! He was the real shopkeep! Wait a minute. Then who's the shopkeep in the other room? Because the kids said they recognized them as their mum. Yeah, and the- Yeah, yeah that, that's probably the real mum. But oh, like- Oh, I- Oh, I get it now. Yeah. Oh, and it's very easy to tell them apart too, so Ooh. any like- any, like, reference to a movie or whatever that could have been done is completely fucked over Ooh. now because I completely blew that guy's arm off. <laughs> Wait, were you also the one who stole the the, the lockbox from the book, the bookseller? Uh, yes. Where's the lockbox? Uh, this is under the desk. I go under the desk to get it. Yeah, it's in there. Um, and it. in it, is um, not only 70 gold, but also a bunch of keys. Huh. Shop Original shopkeeper, are these your keys? Uh, yes, they are. Thank you. Uh, okay. I wouldn't be able to access any of my stores without them. Don't trust him. He also said that my crown was his crown. Oh, he did. Why'd you say that? <laughs> what do you mean, why would I say that? It is mine. No, it's not. You that's not your crown. You didn't It it's one of them it's one of my magical items that I sell here. Yeah, but after you sell it, it's no longer yours. Okay, so if a carpenter makes a chair and then sells that chair to somebody, is that not his chair? I mean he it's made his the work. Chair. It's his work, but he can't claim ownership over the chair anymore. He can just claim ownership over the design in the construction. I, but, okay. Agree to disagree. I, okay, Jackass. Now I see why you married that stall keeper. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I kind of feel like we should just let this guy do his thing. But... No, we can't do that because what if he gets a hold of the magic item and then he's going to make us do even more work? Yeah, what is that magic item, by the way? Uh, it was a dragon orb. 
Ooh. What's that do? Um, it, wait, uh, <laughs> allow, allows me to take over the mind of any dragon. Oh, well, that's mean. It's basically a dominate person spell, but for dragons only. Oh. You should destroy it. No. Uh, the, the, like, actual shop shopkeeper says what no they're really really um expensive i'm selling it yeah but then they're gonna take over some poor dragon's brain yeah like we have a dragon what if our dragon gets taken over well, oh yeah but... you should have taken better care of your dragon then I'm okay here look here dick weasel look here dick weasel you know we have what? a second cell it's nice and empty and you know what? I'm gonna make it illegal to. I'm the. I'm the fucking mayor. I'm gonna make it illegal. You're not allowed to have any sort of item that can control another person's mind. Ugh. Okay. I'll just wait. I'll just so, divert the. Um. I'll just divert the delivery to the next town over where it isn't illegal, and do it there. You can't divert shit. Why not? Because you're gonna be locked in a jail cell where you can't talk to anybody. Fine then, I'll get my wife to do it. You all, you ain't talking to your wife until tomorrow. Buddy. Hey, hey, guess what? Family reunion. Oh. <laughs> and you prison. know what? You, your wife, and your kids can all enjoy a nice vacation in the prison. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you do? Why are you going to jail my wife and children? They haven't done anything wrong. Well, well the children the hasn't done anything attorney. wrong. They weren't, they weren't in school. They were tardy. How about this? You give us the dragon orb as payment for basically saving your business. And, and your life. life. And your life. Ugh. Also, how long has this, been guy, has this guy been here? Like, pretending to be you? Has he gone home to your family and pretended to be you, like, overnight? Um, <gasps> has he fucked your wife? Guy, <laughs> have you fucked this guy's wife? I am so sorry for my friends. <laughs> Although, saying this just like straight up, uh, that is a mimic spell, right? Mm -hmm. That means he literally was him, as in he had his body right up till now, although a different mind. Well, yeah, that's still a problem. Oh, no, yeah. no, that's still definitely a problem. I'm just saying if they did conceive a kid, it would still be his kid. Oh. Well, dude, you're going to, like, super jail. We're going to send you to hell. <laughs> I'm already hey. dead. Yeah, but I... I know a place that can bind your hell to the ninth... It's your soul to the ninth layer of hell. Yeah, because we have a neuroscientist who we're trying to break out of, so I feel like you yeah. taking that guy's place will be, like, equal compensation. You have to do anything I say. Okay. I you, I want you to mimic you spell yourself to look like that lizard neuroscientist, and mimic spell him to look like you, and then you're gonna switch places. <laughs> ah no! And then we're gonna get a neuroscience as our teacher. Okay. A living? Can we not have the mass murderer as our teacher? Well, he's a neuroscientist, though. Yeah. He's also a mass murderer. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's done a lot more than mass murder, but I mean, at least he's not a real <laughs> Wait, what are you not telling us about this teacher? We're letting him around children, you know. They have threatened to eat them, so that's already the worst thing he can do. Well, they didn't threaten, they asked. That's because true. they believe in consent, you fucker. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? You what just banished hell? him to hell. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I need to be careful about what I say. <laughs> it just fucking happens. Wait, if you say you can banish people to hell, they disappear? I I guess. Oh my god. Yeah, he has to do what you told him. And he you told him to go <laughs> banish himself to hell. Oh so now god. he's in hell. Do we get a lizard neuroscientist? I guess. Okay, I was just riffing on the spot, but sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta, be, you gotta be careful what you say because what you say becomes Callum. We still don't forget the art teacher. We still have to get the art teacher. Yes. You're the DM. You can always veto anything I say. 
Yeah, but that's less fun. Okay. We all, yeah, we still have to break out the art teacher. Mm. Mm. Although you are kind of a dick. Maybe we could send you in his place. Oh yeah! Banish him to hell too. And then just say they moved away. Nah, we shouldn't kill somebody and send them to hell in favor of a mass murderer art teacher just because they are a little bit of a dick. Let's not kill him, let's send them there living. I think that'll be worse. <laughs> because he was a little bit of a dick? No, because I want to see what happens. <laughs> Slowly take on the uh, something something. It sort of changes their soul. I wasn't really paying attention to what the bartender was telling me. Huh. Wait, the bartender knows something about demonology? No, oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait. The bartender at the Naked Orc, the bartender who's the necromancer. I just remembered. I just remembered. Mm. Uh, can you give me that dragon thing as payment for, you know, not throwing you in prison? He, like, he does a really deep sigh and says, uh, those was, that was supposed to pay for my holiday next year. We were going to go abroad, but fine. That's so sad. You can't go abroad. Stop being a dick then. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the orb when it comes in tomorrow. If you don't, we're gonna be to we're gonna be very cross with you. We're gonna steal your newborn baby and make them believe that they are parentally challenged and raise them as our own with his three parents, a fire dude, a skeleton canku, and a cat, and then we're gonna send him after you. And uh, we will write a strongly worded letter to your guild. Just as a heads up, that kid won't last two months with us. Oh, no. <laughs> He, like, scoffs and he says, fine, I'll give you the orb. You've got to come back tomorrow, though. Thank We're you. We're sleeping here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. The, the bar's right across the street. We're probably going to pass out in, on the lawn anyway. Me and the bartender have a date. I'm not going to miss that. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Another going? mystery solved by the great and brilliant Fifi. Oh, what's your plan with the dragon orb? Uh, hoard it, obviously. No, no, no. Fifi, are you a dragon? No. I'm not even. No. I'm a cat. Well, that was obvious. We can't <laughs> let somebody just get mind controlled because somebody else decides that they want to use them for something. That's true. So I was thinking of just putting it in my, my secret special place so no one will ever find it. But we can still use its value. We could probably convert it into another kind of magical item anyway. It sounds like it might be a bit too big to shove up your butt. I'm not gonna I'm put- I do not it. put special things up my ass. <laughs> but you said you put it in your secret- your special secret place. Yeah, yeah. under your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> is that why it's so- it's been so uncomfortable? I have been storing things that I found that are quite cool in your bed. Including I'm a couple imagine... dead birds. I'm imagining but like cool a pile, dead birds. Like a pile with just a pillow on top. Yeah, and he hasn't noticed. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's just like a huge round orb with a pillow on top of it. And it's like, <laughs> that's the hiding place. Dude, oh I've been spending so much money on new pillows thinking that I was like flattening them out. You have to. Fair, Fifi, they're really comfy pillows. Please, you have your own room. Put your stuff in your own room. And by your stuff, I mean things that did not originally belong to me that you just leave back in my room for some reason, but you still believe it's yours, not that stuff. If you have anything under my pillow that is originally yours and not mine, put it in your room. Okay, so what I'm hearing is you, I need a new secret place. If your secret place is away from under my pillow, fine. Yep, got it. I cannot believe with two spells I completely solved that mystery. Right. Yeah, I wasn't that expecting was like, oh, that. Shit. Like the I rats. Wasn't either. That came the rats that you well. fought last time, they had like 20 HP each. Like and you took like I was like at least 20 minutes to kill them all. 
Yeah, it's 4d10. I was rolling ones and twos that entire time, which is why I was so upset. This time I rolled one one, but I got a six, seven, and eight. Oh my god. Oh, that. Yeah. It, like I said, it does a real bad hurt when it wants to. Yeah, that's crazy. I legit, I feel so bad because that feels like a very unsatisfying end to the story. <laughs> no, no, no. It makes it makes sense to David's narrative that the important thing is the journey. Yeah, the story is the important bit. But that's literally. I'm, I'm going to show you that there's a whole like a map that I made that you didn't um, that you didn't use that you never got to. Look. Aww, oh, where was that? What was this meant to be? This was um, underneath the shop. Oh, who's wait, it's underneath the shop. Who was this? <laughs> um, this is uh, it's basically the person laying down over here is actually the shop's like assistant person who is being kept captive down here, but you never found them. We never found. Well, oh God, he's still down there. Still Wait, down how were we meant to have get gotten to the shop if I didn't open the bars and let the guy out? You didn't really like. You didn't do any checks when you were talking to him. Um, we, we could have followed the footprints to the. Yeah, yeah. you could have followed the yeah. footprints like straight away. You would have found it. <laughs> We beefed that one pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I saved that one. We almost beefed it really hard. You saved that one. Yeah, because I let him out of the cage and followed him to where he was going, because he was the only thing that didn't make any sense. Okay, that's true. But I would like to point out my accidental murder, kind of. <laughs> brought the whole thing together. Yeah, it was really good. I love how it worked out, even though it wasn't what I planned. I, I was literally trying to intimidate, I just wanted to hurt him real bad be like, so now that you know we're serious, I was like, oh shit, he's dead. Oh wait, I didn't have that answer. That's a good thing. So, so just as I understand what happened, did the room suddenly go dark and then just very, very quickly, the scythe just like pierced through his eye to the back of his head and you're like, ah, oh, whoops, kind of thing. <laughs> It's more like I touched the side of his face and all the color drained and these black veins just sort of grew across his face and then blood was pouring out of his mouth. Yeah. That's it, terrifying. I, okay. I said it was like, it looked like it was going to be a really bad bruise, but then it just never stopped. Yeah. God damn. Literally. I literally had a conversation. You think I'm scary? Fuck yes, I do. <laughs> High five. No. No. 